Ken Sirs here, another video. This time I'm gonna be trying out some products from Canada. Uh, well, they're sold in Canada, the company's in Canada, and uh, I had not heard them before, but it's uh, Shaver Boy. And I guess Shaver Boy just got the package. Shaver Boy uh, is in Montreal, Canada, and one of the subscribers asked uh, what I thought of their blades. And to be honest, I have never tried their blades. I hadn't even heard of them. But uh, I don't hear a lot of things and I end up trying them and I like them. So I'm gonna open up this package for the first time. Let's see here. We'll open this bad boy up. They also have razors. So I have a Shaver Boy razor in here too. I wanna cut myself. Somebody asked one time, if uh, I carry a knife when I'm, uh, you know, working on stuff. Uh-oh, is that that uh, camera about to fall again? When I'm working around the house or in the garage or cutting open packages, and yes, I do. Benchmade 710, very flat, nice little knife, nice little pocket knife, just something to carry. Opens up boxes really well, at least it should. Okay. Once you untape them, once you untape them, I should have this uh, blooper to edit it out, but we'll leave it in. All right, so we're opening up the package for the first time. And what we've got is uh, the business card from Shaver Boy. And these are the blades. There's a bunch of blades in here. A bunch of the Shaver Boy stainless blades. Come in nice individual packs. So I'm gonna be using that today. And I'm not gonna use the razor today. I'm gonna to try out the razor, but I really was interested in the blades. So if I try the blades and a new, new blades and a new razor, and something goes wrong, you know, how can I tell what it was? So I'm gonna use the blades today and an old trusted uh, razor, the uh, 34G Mercure. And then tomorrow or the next day, I will actually shave with a shaver boy. Uh, razor. So let's see. Here is Shaver Boy razor. And it is, oh, it's a twist open. There she is. Twist to open. Nice and light. Nice and light. No marks on it that I can see. Let's see. No marks on where she's manufactured, but that is what she looks like. So I'm gonna be using that one next, but I wanted to show you kind of a preview of upcoming uh, shaves. And today I'm gonna to use the uh, Shaver Boy blades in the Mercure. And I'm gonna use some old favorites today. Pro Rosso pre-shave, Pro Rosso soap, and to top it all off, Pro Rosso aftershave. So I just have to Get this box and junk out of the way, and uh, I'll be right back with you. All right, here's the blade. Stainless. Double wrapped. Super stainless. Shaver Boy. No country of manufacture on it. We'll see how she does. Putting it into here. A nice two-piece Mercure. Good. All right. Let me wet my face a little. Oh. It is a nice sunny day out here in California. And uh, people might say, why, why, why? Why don't you hire a gardener? But I love mowing the lawns. I mow the front lawn, mow the back lawn been working on the garden, the tomato plants I planted, and the uh, jalapeno peppers, and I think I've got Anaheim peppers, are coming along good. It's my salsa garden. In fact, I think I showed you a video of them uh, about five shaves ago. Uh, let me show you that video again, and I'll show you what it looks like today. Here we go.
Now, for you gardeners, you probably already know, and I know, that uh, you plant tomato plants in the ground in California or wherever, and they're gonna grow big and healthy, and those ones in the back are huge. But some of us, I didn't have that uh, planter built last year, so most of mine I had in the, uh, in the uh, pots, and they don't grow as uh, well. They grow, but they don't grow as like, like a jungle if they're in the ground. All right, Omega Boar Brush today. We'll put that in there. Somebody had asked, uh, you know, they said they're starting out, and what's a good brush to start out with? Uh, you know, m you know, big manufactured brush. And I said Omega or Samoog bores. I really like them. And then, then you get into your your exotics. You know, then you get into your cool custom ones, and there's some awesome uh, custom brush makers out there that you just can't go wrong with. But uh, if you want something that's relatively easy to find. Why not use the Samoog or the Omegas? Made in Italy or made in Portugal, your choice. Your choice. Parasso Green always works great. It's funny that badger brush I used the other day on that James Bond tribute shave, I put too much water on it. Now I'm uh, not putting enough. <laughs> Actually, it looks like it's just right. Busy, busy week this week. That's why I didn't get a chance to put out that James Bond video earlier. <sighs> Work was busy, home was busy, and I go about every three to six months for a checkup with my doctor. I had some kidney issues in the past and, uh, well, God, wape in the past. Uh, 2002 uh, and I get checked out about every six months and if all is well I see you on know, six months if it's not I might have to go on some medication and he gets it well again there are worse things you could have but I always get a little nervous going to the doctor for that checkup and this week was that checkup so uh, at night I was a little stressed and uh, wasn't my normal self so but then good news now I'll see him in uh, four months three months so Good news. All right. It's knocking it down. Look. Okay. I don't want to get cocky though, because we're not done with the shave yet. It's never my cheeks I cut. It's always my neck. No movies this weekend. I usually go to the movies with my friends or my family. A ton of good movies started that look good. Mummy, Tom Cruise, Pirates of the Caribbean I haven't seen. Dunkirk's coming out soon. And that looks like a good movie. Spitfires. Whew. Favorite plane. All right, here's the test. Now the blade seems very mild so far, not, not aggressive, which is nice. You don't want to get out of the gate and cut yourself. But I know with a super sharp blade like a feather, if you know what you're doing, you're not going to cut yourself and you're going to get those whiskers down real well. That took quite a bit of it off. This way feels very smooth. Time to go uh, with pass number two. 
going to wet that soap a little bit. Where are we going? Thin it just a bit. Man, one of these tubs lasts a long time. Man, that's very slick soap. <laughs> You've never used Barasa. friend of mine just got into wet shaving. I started him off. I gave him a, a Barbero uh, razor, uh, the one made by Boker. I gave him some blades, big variety of blades. Gave him a brush, a generic brush. And uh, he liked it so much, he bought two Omega brushes, a 1961 Gillette Fat Boy, and he's working on a Black Beauty Gillette. So an addicting hobby. Hope his girlfriend doesn't get pissed at me. Yeah, no cuts. Now, there we go. All right, no cuts. Now a nice mild, good cutting blade for me is the Personas or those uh, Gillette Wilkinson swords. Can't really go too wrong with those. And this felt equal to them, for me, for that shave in that razor. Shaver boy in Canada. Very good. I'll, uh, here's their webpage right here, and I'll put their uh, link in the description of this video. Man, I learn a lot too. I learn of these cool items out there that if it wasn't for you subscribers and you people leaving comments, I might never have heard of. Uh, but uh, then one person uses them and, you know, next thing uh, a couple of people are. And then the word spreads and that's great. Great for business for them. And uh, absolutely no complaints with the Shaver Boy Stainless. All right. Have a great weekend. I just watched uh, uh, Paul H. Uh, he has two channels. Paul H. Films, which is the shaving channel. And I think it's uh, Vauxhall 007 or 007 Vauxhall. And he was talking about uh, the English dinner that he just had, the Sunday dinner. And uh, man, got me hungry. But I did all that gardening today out in the backyard, out in the front yard to get the patio, everything set. I've got the barbecue ready to go. T-bone steak tonight, gentlemen, for me. My wife and daughter want leftovers. We have some Italian over the weekend, uh, so they've got leftovers. I said, no, 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 no. T-bone steak. And I barbecue jalapenos. Uh, it kind of barbecues the heat out of them. You just eat them barbecued. And uh, mushrooms and uh, corn. So uh, going to be a good night tonight. Going to be some good food. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys soon. And uh, I should have another shave video out real quick. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscriptions. I got over 2,600 now. Thank you so much. Uh, when I get to 3,000, I'll have to do another giveaway and show my appreciation. I really do appreciate it. All right. Thanks, everybody. Good night for now.